guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. Although today we're going to be doing something a little bit different that probably is a little un-Antonio-like. We're going to be doing Halloween ravioli. Yes, we are not following any of Antonio's recipes today. So we are doing a black ravioli with a cheese filling and a pumpkin sauce. Okay, so before we do anything else, we are going to start by making the pasta dough that we will need for the ravioli. So we are going to sift 300 grams of zero zero flour. And to that, we are adding a pinch of salt. And we'll just go ahead and sift that onto a clean, flat surface. And then you want to make a nice well inside the flour. Okay, I'm just gonna crack three. Oh, we've got a double yoker. I was going to say three extra large eggs, but maybe we won't need three. So I guess I'm going to go with two for now and we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just going to take a fork. Beat the eggs, and then we are gently going to incorporate the flour with the eggs. And then we're just going to see how that goes. If we feel like this dough isn't coming together the way we need it to, it's still too crumbly and dry to knead, we will be adding a little bit of water, a teaspoonful at a time. And then we do have another video on our channel where we are going to be showing a little bit more in depth what you need to do to make a nice homemade egg pasta. This is looking pretty dry. I might actually just add that third egg. Okay, so I'm just going to keep mixing this. As you can see, this is pretty easy. There's not much to this. So we're just going to go ahead and knead this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic. Okay, so our dough is looking pretty good right now. And usually at this point, I would wrap it up and leave it to rest for 30 minutes. But because this is our Halloween um, edition, and I want to color some of the pasta black, I'm just going to cut it in half. I don't want to color all of it. You can color all of it if you want to. Um, I don't want to. And I'm going to do this in a bowl because I don't want mess on my cutting board. So, the correct way to do this is not to use black food coloring. You would be using cuttlefish ink. Um, unfortunately, we have food allergies, um, and that's not an option for us. So, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. We'll see. And I'm going to add a little bit of black food coloring. Okay, so, our dough is finally uniformly black. I'm not going to lie, this was messy and I wouldn't suggest using this on a cutting board that you love because it's you're going to get food coloring everywhere. I would recommend wearing gloves. Um, I did have to add just a little bit of flour because obviously the extra liquid was making it sticky and I ended up using maybe 15 milliliters of the food coloring. You're just going to have to keep adding that until it looks right to you. Um, and this was only for half of the dough. I'm going to go ahead, let this rest, and then we will get our pasta maker out and make our pasta sheets. So there we have our two beautiful bowls of pasta dough. I've wrapped them in plastic wrap. I'm going to leave them to rest for about 30 minutes. And while they rest, we are going to go ahead and start making the cheese filling. Okay, so for our filling, um, I've grated the cheeses and we are just going to go ahead and mix everything together in a bowl. 
So what we have here is four ounces of fresh mozzarella, one ounce of pecorino, half an ounce of parmesan, and 16 ounces of ricotta. Let's put that right in there. Mmm, that looks beautiful. just going to mix that up and again um, feel free to add some fresh herbs to this if you want to like I said thyme might be a good option um, some people like adding nutmeg to the cheese filling you're going to serve this with a nice pumpkin sauce so we're just going to keep the filling fairly simple we're going to be adding some black pepper and some salt that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge and we'll start working on our pasta sheet so we can make the ravioli. Okay, so we have started making our pasta sheets. Um, as you can see, we've already done the ones that were not col colored. Um, now we're going to go ahead and do the black one. The Halloween version. The halloween -y pasta, yes. So you want me to cut it in half? Yeah, so we're just going to cut that in half. I'm that sure. is black all that the is, way through. That is black. I'm going to set that there. So you just want to press that down into a disc. And then we're going to start by feeding it through the pasta machine at the highest setting. And pretty much what you're aiming for is just to get it nice and thin. You want your ravioli to be delicate, so um, but not breaking apart. So we went down to about, what, number two? Number two. Yeah, and that seems to be good for us. So that's what we will be doing, feeding it through the pasta machine, gradually reducing the setting until we'll go ahead and run through that again, that setting. Yeah, until you get it to the thickness that you want. And then once we are done with that, we'll come back and we'll put the filling in and cut our ravioli shapes. Okay, so we have gone ahead and completed um, the white raviolis. Um, so next we're going to start um, and filling the black ravioli. Apparently, in this case, more is not better. I think it is. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead, um, space them nice and evenly, leave enough room so you can seal them up. Okay, so we have our filling set up, and now we're going to brush the edges with a little bit of water. That will help it to seal nicely once we fold it over. So he's going to go ahead and wrap up that ravioli. I'm going to fold that over if I can. And you just want to make sure that the edges meet nicely and you can push them down. And then once we've done that, we will go and seal each one individually. Okay. So he's going to cup each ravioli filling, push out the air. You don't want too much air around there. So now we're going to go ahead and cut them up with our little tool here and discard maybe the edge a little bit. It's that nice uh, rigid look. There's one. Okay, and then we'll just continue the process until they're all done. And okay. we'll show you the end result. We have made our ravioli. Um, we are bringing a pot of water to a boil so that we can go ahead and cook those. And next we are going to prepare the pumpkin pasta sauce. And we are, are going to start by heating some olive oil in the skillet. So we will add that. Probably not a whole, whole lot, but that's probably enough. Let that heat up for a second here. And that, then to that we will be adding uh, the chopped onion. Um, the recipe that we are loosely following suggests um, to chop up two shallots finely. Um, we just use regular onion. And you're going to cook that until it's nice and done. 
Okay, the onion has cooked nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rosemary at this point. And let that also cook for a minute or two. Keep that in there. And that is one tablespoon of fresh chopped rosemary. And we'll, yeah, we'll cook that for about a minute. And the combination of the rosemary and the onion does smell pretty good. Mm. I think we're probably ready to go. Okay, so next we will be adding one cup of pumpkin puree. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... And that is unseasoned pumpkin. You certainly can go ahead and use fresh pumpkin and roast it and use the pulp, but we just took the shortcut and used a can of pumpkin. So we'll go ahead and add that then. Yeah, and then we're going to mix that well. Starting to look like a sauce now. Mm. Kind of a late October Halloween y type meal. Mm. I think we'd probably go ahead and add the, the half and a half. Mm -hmm. So we will do that now. We'd say four tablespoons. That is four tablespoons. And we'll stir that in. Half and half. So we'll stir that in. And next we will be adding one tablespoon of white balsamic vinegar. Mm, that's looking pretty good. It sure is. Go ahead and add the uh, balsamic We'll go vinegar. ahead and add the vinegar. Okay. We'll add that. And stir that in. And then again, um, you know, you can make the sauce the consistency to your liking. If that's thicker than you want, you can always go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. Mm. The aroma is definitely something I'm not exactly used to as far as these combinations, but it does smell outstanding. Mm. Yeah, and then we lastly are adding the parmesan cheese, that is eight tablespoons of parmesan cheese. Go ahead and add that. And then we'll stir that in until it's nice and melted. And then finally, once that's done, we will be seasoning it um, if we need to with a little extra salt, uh, but definitely some black pepper. What would Antonio dish be without black pepper? That's right. I'm not sure how Antonio would feel about what we're making here. Probably not too good, <laughs> but this is a special the... occasion. Today we are not cooking like Antonio, but... We're cooking in an Antonio style. Right, well, kind of. His, kind of. Just not necessarily one of his recipes, but... It is a special occasion. And I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to this. Um, I don't know if everybody would think it's necessary, but to my taste, I'm going to add That's some salt. Cool, yeah. Did our cheese melt nicely? It sure did. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and turn that off. We've been bringing a pot of water to a boil, so next we'll be, we will be cooking the ravioli. Okay, so we have our water boiling there, um, and we have added some salt. And next we're going to add our raviolis and that will be cooked for about four to five minutes depending on how thick your pasta is. You probably want to taste it before you decide. Our black Halloween ravioli. Our black Halloween ravioli. Our spooky pasta. Hopefully it doesn't taste spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it looks like our ravioli is completed. That's some interesting looking ravioli there. Mm. The Halloween edition. That turned out nice and black. I have to tell you, this will be the first time I've ever eaten black pasta to my knowledge. And that would make two of us. However, they do look good. Okay, then once we have that out of there, we are going to go ahead and plate it up and we will do a taste test. <laughs> okay, so we are ready to go ahead and taste this black ravioli. Black ravioli for the first time in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. Put a little sauce on there, pumpkin sauce, and we're gonna give it a taste test. Mm. That is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Mm, that cheese and the pumpkin and the rosemary, that is delicious. 
It may sound like a weird combination, I guess, if somebody were to tell me that, but boy, to taste it, it really, really is good. Yeah, and I think um, if you are hosting a dinner party for Halloween, this will be a hit. Without mm. question. Okay, so, guys, until next time, I hope you try this for Halloween. If you enjoy it, leave a comment below, and we are saying goodbye. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. What do you think of it? I really like it. Yeah.